And just like that, we back to it like we never left my people. How you doing today, man? I'm saluting, salute, salute, salute all the collectors worldwide, wherever you reside at, man. I'm sending my love, man. How y'all doing today? Listen, man, if this is your first time tuning in, thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Simple. And if this isn't your first time tuning in, Welcome back, my people, man. We back to it like we never left, man. You know what it is, man. Regular business back to it, man. And um, today we got a super dope unboxing, man. I don't know what's in this box. I got an idea what's in this box. But we're going to see together. We're going to see what's happening with this box. So we haven't had a dope unboxing on this channel since when uh, the Galactus. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm just messing with you guys. All right, we got another unboxing. Let's get into it, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the, the, the content. And um, you decide to subscribe and like the video, leave a comment. Let's uh, chop it up down below. See what's happening, man. All right, let's do it. Doggy. Ah, doggy. I finally found my knife. My knife was lost. I couldn't find it. I didn't know where it was. And I was substituting it with uh, some cooking shears. Not even scissors. There was cooking shears that came with a, a utensil kit. So that was kind of crazy. I was using that. Messed those up too. So glad I found my knife, which is dull as hell. I must... Uh, Invested a new one. All right, they go packing. This is from Big Bad Toy Damn, Store. Damn, son, where'd you find Big Bad Toy Store? Easy. Get you some. Oh, so, got you guys know how they deliver things. They definitely take their time and appreciate the item they sending. And from the looks of things, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell already. Maybe, maybe Hasbro. Uh, has uh, 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 has bro any ideas yet not yet all right i'm still oblivious but i'm hoping is what i think it is and there that goes one more time if you didn't see it the first time voila must be careful right here because this is where the box is i believe all right let's get that that move my thumb just in case don't want to get a uh laceration doing this uh, oh my god i know what it is i know what it is and this here my fellow collectors is sergeant slaughter we eat that Woo. And we have Sergeant Slaughter here in all his glory. Oh, this is fire right here. This is fire. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, people. All right, let's get into it, man. You know we're going to do the unboxing right now. All right, let's see what's going on here. So I cut it from the bottom. Yeah, maybe I should cut it from the bottom. Ah, uh, drive me nuts. this and I guess you have the box for the accessories as you can see they're really pushing this narrative now Wendellis 
uh, figures now, so so you guys know. Windowless figures. So you can't see inside without actually going inside, and this is what they come in. Sergeant Slaughter looking dope. So this is his accessory pack. Let's get in here, see what's going on. Alright, let's do the accessory pack first. We have a whistle and a staff. This is the whistle and his staff. He wears around his neck. We will, we will take this out the box. I mean, out the packaging in a second. Let me just get all of the accessories out. Then we have uh, this rip away bag right here. Just rip the bag. I'm guessing, let's see what's in here. Rip the bag. Rip the bag. Oh. And let's see what's in here. All right, we got the grappling fish. These are the hand scopes. The swappable hands, rather. This is the swappable hands. Two pointers. Two pointers. Point this way. Point that way. Bat. Bat. Got seeing that? All right. We got the two pointer fingers. He went that way. He went that way. You rat bastard. <laughs> we want you. So yeah, number ones, throwing the ones up. Then we got two grapplers. We have two grapplers here. You don't want these to wrap around your neck and choke you up. I, I told you, I told you. <laughs> Look, yeah, those are grapplers right there. Nice little grapplers. And then you have the gun hands, the, the, the hands that hold the gun, the gun hands, and they all have the, the wrist, the wrist hinge, you can see they, they bend, so they all have that on, on, a, on a peg. What else comes in here? And then we have his assault rifle. And that's in the box as well. We might as well open it up. We have the assault rifle right here. His AK-47. We have an AK-47 right there. And it has a slot there where you can attach the clip. The banana clip. Extendo. This is a regular Israeli. It looks like a Israeli. This ain't Russian made. This ain't the, the OG. It's like a Israeli or something like that. So super dope, super clean. Then we have the clip right here. If you guys can see, this is the clip. Uh, let's see if we can get it this way. This is the clip. It has like a little hand little hinge piece with it. It could fit on. It's an actual gun. And there you have it. And there you have it. The AK-47. Beep, beep. And then, as we proceed on, we open up this one. This has his sunglasses. Ah, and we drop the sunglasses. And the sunglasses right here. His famous sunglasses. The military joints. And eh, pretty dope, pretty clean. Very fragile, so be careful with these guys. Make sure you put it somewhere where you won't lose them. 
And then we have the world's smallest figure. The world's smallest figure. Next to my barbecue. I was just I was just looking at the barbecue too. The, the barbecue one. This is smaller than the barbecue one. A few moments later. If you compare it, the two. So you see this is definitely smaller. I thought they would be the same size. I was wrong. Still super dope, super clean. Glad to have it in the collection. Then last but not least for his accessories. Oh, there's also another attachment I forgot to mention. I guess this is like a flashlight maybe. Or something that attaches to the side of the, the AK-47 right over here. Uh, let's see if we can get it right the first time. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, and there it is. Attached. It's attached. So there you have it guys, it's attached oh, and it just fell out, the clip fell out, oh man, I've been messed up and bang out, there you go, the clip, looking crazy out here, boy, get your shit together, Jumping out in the clip, fall out. You crazy? All right, and then last but not least, we got Sergeant Slaughter's cap. His little cap. So super dope, super clean. And now we're going to get into Sergeant Slaughter. Dun, 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 dun. Also note, be very careful with these prongs when putting these prongs into the, the hand of uh, Sergeant Slaughter. To the wrist of Sergeant Slaughter, putting the prong in there. Right here. Because they made these prongs pretty long pores. And they're easy to bend, maybe break in time. So be very careful with that when um, exchanging these hand swaps with your Sergeant Slaughter. We keep dropping his hat and his, his glasses. Oh my God, man, stay on. I mean, whatever, I'll take his glasses off. I just thought he looked super cool with his glasses on, that's so. all. And the gun actually fits into his hand pretty good. It isn't like the um the Todd McFarlane uh gunslinger spawn where his where his um phalanges actually were too wonky to hold on to the firearm or whatever have you. And this one actually holds it pretty well. I am impressed. I am impressed. Yeah, super dope, super clean. Yeah. Hold that down, all y'all. Ah, hold that down. Yeah, hold that down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, whoa, we got that. Everything's in place. Everything's working. Everything looking nice. All right, let's give it up for uh, Sergeant Slaughter, man. They did their thing with this Sergeant Slaughter, man. I'm happy. Super dope to have it in the collection. I'm not going to uh, do all of the um, hand swaps and et cetera, et cetera, and show you a little figure, him holding a little figure. I'll put up some pictures, whatever, so that way you can see the pictures. And as you can see right here, this is the miniature Sergeant Slaughter. His, his feet actually fit right into the slots, his, his phalanges, right in between his fingers. 
So that's pretty dope. It stands on its own. Super dope. Look at that. Oh, man. Hit that like button for your doggy, man. Yeah, there you go. So I'll just slaughter y'all. But uh, to close out the outro. But other than that, man, super dope with this figure, man. I'm super impressed with this figure. Happy to have it in the collection. And um, and I'm going to leave you to it. Here's all I have for you today. Stay safe, stay sucker free, and you know what it is. Regular biz, back to it, man. Doggy, man. Ah, doggy. My apologies, guys. I know you like, man. How the hell doggy do a review and not give us the articulation? Well, this is standard... Uh, G.I. Joe classified articulation. We have the arm swivel, upper bicep swivel, the uh, double joint elbows. We have the, the wrist, the wrist bends, the hinge, uh, rotating wrists. We have the neck up and down, side to side, you know, all that good stuff. And um, as far as the legs, we have the legs, the upper thigh swivel, the thigh swivel, the double jointed knees, the the ball, ankles. Uh, we have it all on this figure, man. So you know the gist, man. You guys seen plenty of videos. I skipped it for a reason because of my um, my sound is kind of acting up, man. My mic, and um, you know, it's picking up the lens when the lens is focusing in. So. Therefore, I do voiceovers and stuff like that as of lately, but I will get it together. Just have faith in Doggy. Peace.